There was a, right. I think there was a very specific set of circumstances that for Romney as a candidate we saw, it wasn't just that he did such a good job against Barack Obama, it was that you got to see him for a full 90 minutes without the press, pulling a 15 second clip out and hammering that for a week and saying, here's Richie Rich, this guy doesn't care about you, all the no, stuff that they've likeable. been doing, he came across as likable. I don't think he's going to come across as unlikable in any of the future debates, and no matter what the, you know, the sort of the consensus opinion is after the debates, he's not going to wipe out Barack Obama in the next two like he did in the first one, there's just no way. I mean, Barack mm -hmm. Is just going to start, you know, yelling things at him and, and really sort of throw him off his game, no matter what. But you're going to see Mitt Romney continue to be what he was, which is a likable guy in command of the facts. And so I'm hoping, Jedediah, he continues to ebb away at those, on, on, you know, those low likability numbers. What's also puzzling, though, to your point, is that although he is underwater when it comes to favorability in some of these swing states, he's winning on independence. Like Virginia, yes. he has like, even though he's underwater in Virginia on favorability. He is leading by about seven points in term, among independents. Can people vote for him holding their nose? Is that, is that something we haven't considered? That just because you're unlikable doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to get somebody's it vote. It means the people who don't you're like the him really don't like him. I think it's because independents were told that Mitt Romney was an extremist. And when they listened to the debate, they heard that he wasn't that at all. And yeah. his, his points on Medicare and all these other issues sounded very acceptable to a lot of people in the middle. I think that's why that Let's happened. go back to the map, if we can, for a minute mm -hmm. that you showed, Essie. Because this likability, this, this sway with independents, it all has to translate into an electoral map that makes sense. We see these national polls over and over. The Mitt Romney is creeping up on them. But, Essie, I think what's interesting is you showed these polls in Virginia, mm -hmm. North Carolina, and Florida, because this is what matter. In the yeah. end, you have to get the electoral college vote. Everyone I have seen, and I, I, your split decision gave Ohio to Obama, but every map that I have seen suggests the Republicans must win Ohio. Did you yes, have that in your other hard. two? So isn't that still concerning? Yeah, running the, polls... the table, Romney would take Ohio. Right. And the squeaker, Romney takes Ohio. Yeah. Romney takes Ohio in all but the so, even... And that, so that narrative remains, that Ohio is a must win, and he still is down from what I've seen, Emily Kirkman, if I'm wrong, by like six points is, in Ohio. He, they call it a slight lead, but I actually thought it was a little bit more than a slight lead. It's well Obama. outside the margin of error? No, it's, it's barely within the margin okay. of error. Um, but that's why I think Wisconsin is going to matter way more than we think, because if Romney loses Ohio, which I'm thinking that there's a possibility he will, then he has to pick up Wisconsin and Nevada, or Wisconsin and New Hampshire. Even some of these small states with just a few electoral votes may matter if he loses Ohio. Right. You're talking about the Marist poll that had that six-point lead for Obama Maybe when it came to, because there were a couple so of other polls that I point, saw today that were six much point closer. lead between, uh, Obama has Romney in Ohio, six points, but Romney is up two mm -hmm. yeah. since the debate in that state. I saw a few polls today that came out that had it a one-point break for, for Ohio, so... From just, Rasmussen, yeah, right. Rasmussen, and there was another one, Gravis, I believe. What could one. really, what could really blunt Romney's momentum at this point, though? Is, is, is short of an October surprise? It, I poor don't think you, you think poor debate performances. I mean, because I, I was going to say we'll get one more set of jobs numbers, right? Isn't that? We will. We'll right. get one more of those. I think. The I think that could be a huge <laughs> moment in this whole campaign. I think looking at those, because you know, if those are really good again, that's going to say something to a lot of people that I think are still undecided. You know, a lot of people ha have said that, and, and the way. I would sort of describe it as, I don't know if any of you watch NASCAR, but a lot of the sort of jokes about NASCAR is that you don't have to be leading the whole race. You just have to be the first one across the finish line on the last lap. And some people suggest that that last jobs report is going to be really the only thing that matters because it will be the last palpable the one that people remember. experience that all voters have before they go into the voting booths. I, I would agree with Emily, though. It's also the debate performances. You, I mean, if, yeah. if you live by the sword, you die by the sword. If that's what brought him They're into huge, contention, right? this debate, it's, it's also what can bring him down. Let me just quickly bring it back to Paul Ryan, Paul, Paul Ryan and Joe Biden. You know, his favorables going into this debate are much higher than Joe Biden's. So for all of the Joey charm, that people want to see. Uh, people expect good things of, of Paul Ryan. Our high and expectations. Does, does, anyone, think, does anyone think, though, tonight is going to actually move the needle substantially in one direction no. or another? I, don't, I just don't see that happening. I think it'll become part of the narratives for the two campaigns, depending I on how it goes. I gotta tell you, if Paul Ryan, I don't expect this to happen, if Paul Ryan gets decimated, that will be very bad. That's the only Biden. way you see it really moving yeah. things. Yes, though, if Joe Biden gets I think that decimated, makes sense. we're used to seeing him yeah. embarrassed. This one, you know, he has yeah. nothing to lose. He has, a cloak, really he has a cloak of Biden. Trust me, I know. He has a cloak of Biden invulnerability. This is why I've been saying it's going it's to be a draw. I, I don't think either of them are going to win. One of them could lose. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, they're just not embarrassable people. Joe Biden's a very capable debater. Paul Ryan is going to be very good tonight. No one is going to out debate someone. Spin Alley's going to earn their paycheck tonight. Someone will have to lose too. it yeah. for this to be anything other than a draw. Yeah. I think.